Hey guys, it's Lisa from the Barnyard Chicken, and I have a half price book haul. So let's see what I got. Anyway, I got this book Robinson Crusoe. It's a really cool book, it's got a really nice texture. It's a really heavy book, too. Anyway, and then, and then I just got this here. It was only two bucks. So I got this for my father-in-law. It's like a mouse pad that you can write on, and then you can just pull the sheet off until you use all of them. It's a notepad. Anyway, he, need, he wanted a new mouse pad, and I haven't been able to find one. I haven't had time to look for one. I'm sure they're out there. Anybody got this book here? This is a handbook for the exhibition building of the Colonial Williamsburg. Anyway, it was $1. Anyway, it's really cool. This book was free to everyone who bought a ticket to the um, exhibit. And... Um, Extra books were, I think, 65 cents. Let's see, where did I read that at? Oh, I must have broke that since I got it home. I mean, since I put it in my truck or whatever, or maybe it happened at the cashier. Um, I did read in here that, oh, I don't know what this is, but look at this. There's a smudge here, but I'm like, oh, what is that? I thought it was like lipstick or whatever, but look at that. That is really cool. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> okay, so I dropped it. So I've got to be really careful. I'll just pick it up later. I don't know where it went. But it was like a dress. You know what I'm saying? Like a paper doll cutout dress. Anyway, it's a really cool book. I'm spending way too much time on it. And, um, yeah. I do believe it says that if the book was 65 cents, um, it was free with a ticket. Otherwise, the price, oh, 35 cents. So you got a copy um, of it if you when you bought a ticket. And I thought this one was really cool. This one is really cool. This one is a hardback book. And, um, yeah, this one is super cool. Look at that. Aren't those pages really cool? I was super excited to get this one. Anyway, this book, this particular book here is, um... 1916. 1916. I was excited to get that book. And then they had a whole bunch of these, and it's all I could do not to get them all. But they were kind of expensive, so I just got one. They were having a sale, 30% uh, off, 30% uh, off is what they were giving. And um, so this is just a church hymn book. Um, I only got one of these. They actually had like 20 of them probably. And usually they only have one or two, but the, usually the ones they have are really cool. So um, I don't know what kind of religion this book is. I didn't really have time to look at it, and I haven't really had any time to look at it since I got it home. It just says Church Gospel Songs. And... Uh, um, I don't know who E V E Howard is. Okay. Anyway, so I couldn't figure out which religion it was. It doesn't really matter, but sometimes it's interesting. Anyway, I got this one, Learn to Read Music. And um, I know it was a little high, but I wanted to learn to read music. 
and I specifically got this one to learn to read music because if I if I know how to read music then I can write music and um, then I got this great big book here and this book is just okay there's some instruction in the back but it's just like page after page after page of these lines. And I thought these were, I could write my own music, make my own ephemera. You hearing what I'm saying? And then, uh, yeah, that's where I'm headed with that. Anyway, the back of the book is hard so you can write on it, you know, use it as a writing book. And um, so that's just a little project I'm going to take on this year. And that is all. That is all I got. And, um, I guess I paid $6.30 for this. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have. I'm dawdling. I'm sorry. Anyway, I spent hours in there. I really wanted to go to Tuesday mornings, but I just couldn't get out of the house in time, which is right next door to Half Price Books. Anyway, um, and it was really hard to find these books. I, I was really looking for old books like this, um, early 1900s. And, um, yeah, it was just, I just couldn't find any. And, um, so this is what I came out with. And, uh, this is with Barnyard Chicken sitting on my love and my hugs. And, um, if you have any tips, tricks, or suggestions on finding old books, please leave them in the comments. Or if you found some old books that are really cool, I would like you to, um, put in the comments the title and author of the book. And that would really help me out. Okay, guys, this is Lisa. Please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe.